either get it lasered off or process for discharge. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but like nudity, curse words, uh, anything that's perceived from your wrist bone to your fingertips. What's up guys, I'm BTV, you're back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Army's tattoo policy. I have a very special guest. He's also a military YouTuber. I got Team Swords with us today, and basically he's going to be describing what the United States Army's tattoo policy is. All right guys, so like I said before, we got Team Swords in the building, aka Sergeant First Class Swords. And as you know, customs and courtesy, you got to say at ease. You know, he's a drill sergeant too. <laughs> So, oh yeah, carry on, let's go, let's get the party started. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna be talking about the Army tattoo policy. So Sergeant First Class Swartz, can you basically tell us what's the Army's tattoo policy as far as what you can have, what you can't have, and just go into detail about the Army's tattoo policy? Yeah, so from time to time, the Army is always assessing, reassessing, and changing the guidance, you know, as time goes on periodically. So the current guidance right now with tattoo tattoo policy is that you cannot have any tattoo from the wrist bone to your fingertips or from a t-shirt collar up. So with that being said, as long as it's outside of that area, then you are good to go as long as it's not um, any type of nudity, curse words, uh, anything that's perceived as a gang related tattoo, right? Now, if you do have a tattoo that's tasteful and small enough, we might be able to do an exception to policy. One ta uh, tattoo exception to policy, or ETP for short, that we can definitely do is a matrimonial band around your ring finger on either hand. That's an easy e uh, tattoo ETP to get approved. Now, when it comes to the anything else, let's say you get uh, your knuckles tattooed, right? <laughs> like F you with an estimation point or something. Like that no tattoo uh waiver authorized and that'll get denied real real quick now you have a greater chance or a higher potential of getting a tattoo waiver exception to policy request to get approved if it's on the left hand and if it's small enough anything on the right hand is going to more than likely get denied because that's the hand that you salute with right so that's mm -hmm. the hand that's going to be highly visible in very patriotic moments, right? When we're rendering honor to the flag or reveille and so on and so forth. So yes, um, so that should address your tattoo policies and concerns. Now, once you're in, you can get tattoos as long as you are within uh, or in accordance with the army regulation, which is AR 670-1. So as of right now, the guidance is, it's right here. So every time you do get a tattoo, make sure that it's annotated somewhere within your military record so that in the future, if the regulation changes and is now no longer in a location on your body that is currently authorized, if it's not annotated, right? They'll give you a small grace period to get it done, but get it annotated so that way you are grandfathered in, so to speak, to be mm -hmm. able to keep those tattoos and not pay to get them removed or unfortunately um, be discharged. Got you, got you. Now, say somebody has a tattoo before they join the army and they get disqualified, can they get that said tattoo lasered off and be eligible for service after that point in time? Correct. Um, it's a very expensive and, from my understanding, very painful process and sh probably sh should take about a year or longer and at least from what, from depending on the tattoo and how dark and deep it is it could take up up to like six sessions or more so yes if you get it lasered off then obviously it's no longer a tattoo right now if you've gotten multiple tattoo removal um, attempts where you've gotten it lasered off maybe four or five sessions it's not completely gone and it's not really helping out anymore and then requesting a tattoo uh exception to policy request from there they may grant it because you've shown that you made an honest attempt to get rid of the tattoo you didn't just do like one and done and that's it and it also depends on how it looks and what that tattoo is of obviously now say a soldier you know he didn't join the military with any tattoos but after enlisting after enlistment he got a tattoo that goes against the united states army's tattoo policy you know due to lack of knowledge or ignorance or whatever what happens to that soldier 
So there, it's really up to the command, but the command typically will give them a choice, either get a lasered off or process for discharge, because technically that would be destruction of government property. I mean, a lack of a better term or terminology. You represent the United States Army. You came in obviously qualified and you made a conscious decision whether you were ignorant or not doesn't take with the fact that you are no longer within army regulation so those would be your ultimate choices and you could face uh punitive action you could get an article 15 of a various level but uh i mean that's like worst case scenario well worst case scenario is discharge but uh you definitely could be uh facing punitive charges you according to ucmj and uniform court of military justice military law essentially and for all the you know you before you mentioned matrimonial tattoos is that like a guaranteed tattoo waiver except acceptance or is there some cases where that matrimonial tattoo ring think ring on your finger has that ever been denied before nope they all okay. get approved now okay. let's say you're a guy or a gal typically a gal would get like maybe a star or something like that on their finger right here mm. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but like a way to get around it is like draw a ring around it and say that you made a promise ring for your future partner or something like that, you know? <laughs> so I was like, yeah. read between the lines. I can't tell you what to do, but you know, it's all about the, the reasoning behind it. So when we're processing your paperwork administratively as a recruiter, we're annotating what the tattoo is, where it's located, sometimes how big depending on what the current guidance is at that time and what that tattoo means to you right so if it's a could be perceived as a a gang related tattoo that's why we're asking you what does this tattoo mean to you and why did you get it mm -hmm. right so that's like the why behind it but if the army knows for a fact that that's a a gang related tattoo and you don't have a a logical explanation for it and you just and you're just doing this then mm -hmm. The power that be could choose not to authorize your waiver request. <laughs> got you, got you. And that's pretty much it for the Army's tattoo policy. Once again, the Army tattoo policy can change at any given point in time. So if you guys are watching this video, make sure you double check your research and double check the things that were said in this video. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you guys haven't liked it already. And comment down below anything that you wanna comment, questions or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.